I'm still hungry. Hello ladies and gentlemen, lads, I'm the one and only Clover, and welcome to It's Not Me, It's My Basement. An RPG Maker horror game, much like House for Alyssa, except I'll probably die less, and I know it's a little more story driven. Let's get straight into it. Dot dot dot. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. There's a sprint. Let's see if the controls are any different. My toy box. Try to keep my toys neat. Mom likes when my toys are neat. Train set. It isn't as fun to play with as it used to be. A little buddy hanging out with his friend. That is a little buddy hanging out with his friend. That's that's me having a swallow time. Nothing I need from this drawer. A hamper. No use in this anymore. Ah, here we go. Mom and Dad's room. Dot dot dot. Bathroom. I don't have to go right now. These plants are plastic. If they weren't, they'd be dead by now. Dad painted this, I think. It's from where he used to live. He said that he would take me one day. I think I need from this drawer. It's the third of the month. Which month? What to do? Look at drawing. Ah. This drawing has been on the fridge forever. Mom and Dad told me that that all great artists signed their work at the bottom. Still got, yeah, peanut butter. I thought so. You got peanut butter. Pretty dishes have piled in the kitchen sink. Still got bread, just enough to slices. Mom always told me not to use the oven unless she was around. How do I make the food? Oh, I didn't look in the fridge. No, stop looking at the drawing! Good, we haven't run out of jelly yet. You got jelly. That's everything I need, right? I can only make one sandwich, but it'll have to do. Ah, oh, yes, I stomp my feet when I make a sandwich. Sandwich made, but we're running low on groceries again. I'll make a list and go to the market, but I'll have to feed them first. Feed who? That's it, he painted this painting. I don't like it as much as like the other paintings. At least the books haven't, haven't been collecting dust. I like to draw and watch TV at the same time. Maybe one day I can do that again. What's stopping you? This is the TV. Dad set it up for me so that I could watch VHS tapes. That makes me feel old. I remember as a kid, like, my mom didn't want to deal with me. So she, in the morning, I uh, she'd teach me how to play a VHS. And I'd just sit there watching, uh, like, old Disney movies. But now that he isn't here, I find it hard to rewind the VHS tapes on my own. I'm scared I might break them. Okay, breakfast time, you guys. R remember to share. <coughs> oh, Jeebus. I'll bet. I better go write that grocery list before I forget. All right, all written down. Guess we're going to the market today. Let's, let's say really quick. Uh, I don't like the lack of music. I'm a little eerie. There's nothing I need in there. Nothing I need from this drawer. Oh, yikes. This thing is broken. I can't ask anyone to fix it for me. 
haja pedras sobre o desenho para ele. Yikes, 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 yikes. So we got this pink ass Barbie house in like this gray graveyard looking landscape. I can't see how this could ever go wrong. Well, here we are again. I hope Miss Baylor has it today. Miss Baylor. Oh, well, I'm apparently a ghost. People just go straight through me. Honey, sells honey. I like honey, but it's way too sticky to bring home with the way things are right now. Miss Castella sells milk and other beer products at her stand. Hi, Embry. Back again, I see. Hello, Mr. Wilson. May I have some more bread? Well, sure. Well, sure, sure, of course. What kind? Uh, whatever kind. Right, right. Here, I'll give you some whole wheat. And some sourdough on the house. You like that kind, right? Yes, I do. Thank you. Say, uh, Embers. How is everything? Your folks are alright? Oh, yes. They're fine. Well, not fine, but, you know. Ah, right. Well, you know. My kid's back in town this weekend. If your parents want, we could come over and maybe help around the house. Bring over some more bread. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Mom and Dad keep telling me they don't want anyone over. They're embarrassed. Right, right. Well, just tell them I offered anyways, okay? Anytime they need it. Right, I will. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Oh, Embry, you're back. Good morning. Good morning, Lucille. Can I have some jelly or uh, jam? Whichever. You know, normally I'd ask someone someone to say please. Editor, what's the, can you check the difference between jelly and jam? For me, because I'm way too dumb. But, but you're special. You don't got it. Sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, I'll get that ready for you. Look at these split. Thank you. So Embry, this is the third week in a row you came here by. You came here dressed like this. I like this outfit. You know, if your you know if your ma or pa need help with laundry, I don't mind. Do you think I smell, Lucille? Oh, no, no, of course not. I just wanted to, you know, it's all right. They'll be back around once they get over their sickness. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm hoping they'll get better soon. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Lucille. It's just as far as flowers aren't needed, so I don't stop by here anymore. I miss gardening with Mom. You don't have any today either, do you? Afraid not, killer, kiddo. This is like the third shopping trip in a row that you were empty. I know, I know. And as you know, if I had any spare, I'd give it to you. You really don't have anything? Look, kid, all I got... All I got needs to be sold. I got people to feed, you know? Look, kid, I promise next time I, I have extra, it's all going to you. Alright, see you later. Be good, kid. That's all I came here for. I guess there's uh, nothing less left to do but go home. Well, can I go anywhere else? No, it doesn't look like it. But we must look for secrets. Bossy on my channel. No stone unturned. Dot dot dot. Everything is put away. It's getting dark already, huh? I'll have to feed them dinner then before it gets too dark. I hope they are not too hungry after this morning. They eat more than they used to. <sighs> but there's only so much food I can ask for at the market. Did she kill her parents? I'm betting everything. She killed her parents. If I ask for too much, they're going to start wondering where it's all going. You eat so much now. I can hardly keep up. Dinner's ready. Basement, I go. Snare time, it's snare time, it's snare time. Dinner time! <laughs> Done. I'm tired. I'll go to bed. Yeah, I'm playing this just so that way I know what the volume needs to be for House for Alyssa 2, because that's why I plan on playing. Why haven't I expand this? Nothing. Usually spamming random stuff helps. 
hamper. There's no use for this anymore. All right, it's time to go to bed. Do you see how easy it is? They grew so quickly. I thought we'd have to wait forever. It's incredibly easy for a flower to grow in the right conditions. But you have to be careful too, because as easy as it is for a flower to bloom, it is just as easy to wilt and wither away. Without a, con without a constant eye on things, it's very easy for a flower to wilt. So you must remember to take care of, of the little thing, because without that care, your whole garden will fall apart. Whoa! Yikes! Banging on the door. They haven't done that in a while. I should check on it, right? I can go back to. Okay. You're gonna die. You're gonna go down there. Lock's gonna be broken, and you're gonna be dead. They're hungry. But what do I do about it? I already fed them dinner. And I have to try and save as much food as I can. But if they're hungry, I, I can't just let them go hungry. Or, or else they might... Feed them! Fine, I'll give them just a little more food. But no more than that. It's bedtime after that. No, no, I can't use this. I need this for breakfast tomorrow. Not this either. Okay, there should be enough for them. I hope. I have to make breakfast and also do chores today. What chores am I doing today? I'd probably start making lists like mom used to do. How long have her parents been sick or I guess dead? It's pretty damn obvious that they're dead. Breakfast, breakfast. What can I make for breakfast? I'll just use whatever's here. I just got bre bread yesterday and jelly. And we still have butter and stuff. Yeah, I was thinking of that sandwich. I just hope it'll be filling enough that they don't cause a ruckus again. Stop looking at the damn drawing! Better, yeah, I should use it. It's better to feed it to them than let it go bad. Bread, and yet... Breakfast is ready again. Sorry, I need a stretch, guys. My whole torso has been like hurting all day. It's been a long, long day. Um, there was something else I had to do here. Uh, was it again? Or list. Ah, right. Today's the fourth of the month. I almost forgot to write it down. Fourth of which month? Today marks the four, marks four months since it happened. Four months since the monster appeared. Four months since I've been living like this. Four months. That I've been keeping them fed so they don't eat me like they ate them. So there's something in the basement that ate her parents. I have to stay here and take care of things. I'm the only one who can. I try to keep the house clean, as clean as I can. But I can't clean everything by myself, and I don't know the right way to clean most of it. I usually try and clean the windows. The house can get really dark when they are not clean. Mom taught me that. My parents. That night they appeared. The sounds that followed. It sounded like they were eaten. But I, I didn't actually get to see what that happened. It's just what I think. And since I didn't see it happen, I, I think that maybe they weren't somehow. Maybe I just have to wait here for them to come back. I, I don't know. It's all very confusing. It's just a... Uh, what's that saying the adults say? Take it day by day. That's what I do. I mean, it's working, isn't it? I'm okay. And if I just keep those things down there fed, everything will be okay too. Right? There's not much to do at home without mom and dad around. I've been reading. A lot. I wish I could be like the kids in these books. Because maybe then, I know what I'm supposed to do. Oregon. But this isn't their normal feeding time. Embry. 
Are you there? No, no, no. Embry, it's okay. Mom, you. I know you must have been so scared, but everything is better now. You can open the door. Rule one of horror game of horror situations: If you hear a loved one's voice in the basement, don't touch it. Stay silent, Embry. I know you're there. Don't you want to see your mother again? I missed you so much. You must have been so lonely without us. Please open the door. You're not my mom. <coughs> All right, kiddo. This isn't funny anymore. Open the door before I get mad. I know you're there, Embers. Open up. My dad. My dad doesn't talk to me like that. Is it done? Embry. Please let me out. I'm tired of this. Why? Why do you sound like... I hate this. And you hate it too, don't you? So why are we still doing this? Just open the door already. Monster. That's what you call us, right? That's why you won't open the door, you. How can you say such a thing? How can you treat us this way? Do you really hate yourself this much? Absolutely. What are you talking about? You're talking nonsense. What? What do you want? I'm keeping you fed. Isn't that enough? What else do you want? I want out. I want out. I want out. Let us out. I need fresh air. It's okay. Everything is okay. I... I never heard them talk before. I heard a thump. That scared me. Was that you, Dozer? I didn't think, even think they could. They're getting smarter, I guess. But what am I supposed to do then? Should I just let them starve? No, what am I saying? If I let them go hungry, then the only thing they have left to eat is... Keep feeding them the way I am now. No, no, it's gonna be okay. I, I will figure something out. I just keep feeding them until I do. Speaking of feeding, it's dinner time. Go to town! There's no need to go, okay. Then, uh, let's save. Okay, we got 10 minutes left of recording. Let's just get through this. It's 407 dinner time again. I just I hope you don't try something like they did earlier. There has to be something in here. I never ended up touching the, the cheese wheel. It's kind of heavy. It was supposed to go to be good, but it's probably collecting mold now. Some people like mold in their cheese though, right? I'll give it to them. You got cheese. Burn the house down. Burn the whole damn house down. Quiet. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to announce the journey. I'll just throw it down. <laughs> Bed. It's fine. Everything is fine. I'm going to bed. Not before saving! I'm to bed. I told you it's easy, isn't it? Is your father Asgore or something? Jesus! It's fun. Good. That's how it's supposed to feel. Whenever I'm feeling worked up, I just start brainstorming the next painting I want to make. And I know even on the worst days, I can always come back to paint, to painting, to make it better. Will I ever be as good as paint, good at painting as you are? You could be. You can be whatever you want. Really? Mm -hmm. Something important to remember about painting, though. It's true that you make a mistake. You can just paint over it. You can only paint over it so many times before it begins to look jumbled and muddy. 
So you should make sure you know what you're doing when you go in, so your painting doesn't end up ruined. Another thump in the night. They're banging on the door again. This is the second night in a row. Are they still mad? Go back to bed, dude. Or, you know, maybe tell people about the g y monster in, y in your basement. What am I supposed to do? We didn't do anything they want now, but we would also calm them down. I need them to be calm. The amount they already eat. What am I going to do? Go back to bed. I can't. I can't just get to them. Every time I slept through this, I'm going back to bed. We're gonna die. Those chains are gonna be broken. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. How much food is left anyways? I have to go back to the market later. Maybe there will be meat today. I think it's what keeps them the most full. But I have to feed them breakfast before I leave the house. I'll check how many endings there are. I know mainly Badass Hero probably played this. It's still there. Sweet. It's hard to avoid giving them zero because it's, well, not the easiest to transport. I'll show them the box. All the boxes. We really have run this low, haven't we? It's just at the market. And you visit the closer together than the last. There, what's that thing? The thing Dad would say, eating me out of, out of house and home. Got no choice. After I feed them, I definitely have to go back to the market today. I just hope this is enough breakfast to begin with. We got cereal. Here we go again. Most of cereal. All of it together should be at least enough for breakfast. You seem fine with it. I better head out now. I have to make sure I have enough for dinner. Chains aren't here aren't the strongest, but they do what they need to. Yeah, with my recording software, I have to. Uh, I only have a thirty-second time window with recording. But you know, it, it works, and the editing for good. Back again. I have to talk to Miss Baylor before I go, go anywhere else. If she has any meat today, I have to make sure I get it before, before anyone else. I'll beg her for it if I have to. Please, Miss Baylor. I'll take anything. Miss Baylor? Embry, good morning. Oh, you seem pretty happy today. Ahaha, <laughs> does it show on my face? I'm just excited there's good news for you today. Good news? For me? Does that mean you have me today? Oh, haha. -ha. No, not exactly. It's a different kind of good news. Oh, what is it? Well, you see, there's a traveling doctor visiting town today. Doctor? I hear he's quite well known. I suppose it's supposed to be real good, yeah? I know you said the doctors here couldn't help your parents, so maybe he can. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try and find him later then. Oh, there's no need to go looking. I can see him talking to Miss, Mr. Wilson right now. Oh, really? Why don't you go talk to him? Oh, I'm just so excited for you, Squirt. I'll be watching from here. Go on. Go introduce yourself. Right. Nope. I can't go home yet. Everyone at the market is waiting for me to talk to the doctor. Ah! Is that Sands on your tail? Hello. Ah, Embry. You're just in time. I'm sure Miss Baylor already told you, but this is Doc Dr. D. Light. D. Light? The one and only! I can probably do a voice for this guy. I like him, he fits my, he fits my whole vibe. And I'm quite a very hard to see if I do say so myself. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Hello, doctor. Indeedly so. You look like a clown. <laughs> One moment. 
Play moment, play moment. What Embry? Hey, I'm a frog. I certainly hope I'm a funny one then. Here, Embry, why don't you introduce Delight to your parents? If anyone can help them, he should be able to. Yeah, right. I'll do my best to assist. It kind of reminds me of that one Undertale in here, the dude with the. Well, and then lead the way. They sell bread out here like this. How nice. I can imagine buying a small roll to snack on while you stroll. Uh, yeah, I guess. Milk. Even though I shouldn't promote healthy eating habits, I can't deny that I quite enjoy a glass of milk and some cookies every now and then again. Really? Even a doctor like yourself? Of course. I'm allowed to cheat. I'm allowed a cheat day every once in a while, too. Honey is perfect for this time of year. It really helps to soothe a sore throat. Yeah, Mom taught me that, too. Have you been picking up honey for them? Uh, no, a sore throat isn't the problem. Ah, no! I do this a lot. I rapidly click. What a nice fruit stand. You know, they say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. But not me. So, you like apples? Not really. <laughs> First, I'm more of a pineapple person. I left my pineapple in the freezer. Flowers. I don't know if you can tell just by looking at me, but I'm quite a fan of flowers. No, I can tell. The sand is quite empty. Yeah, it is. Been, it has been for a while. I've been waiting for it to restock, but no luck. No worries. I'm sure they'll have something for you soon. Yeah, I'm not really big on doing voices. I want to do it, but... So this is the way to your house? It's quite a thicket to walk through. Um, Mr. Delight? Uh-uh, -uh, that's Doctor. Right. I just want to say... It, I I didn't want to say in front of everyone, anyone, everyone else, but... You should go. You can't help me. Hey, don't be like that. I'm sure whatever problem your family has been going through, we can fix it. Embry, you go to the market all by yourself? Yes. Is that an issue? Oh, I just, well, it seems like a long way for a child to walk by themselves. How old is Embry? I want to imagine she's like single digits. I'm used to it now. So, Embry, what do you like to do? What do you mean? What do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Are you an artist? The stains on your apron seem to hint at it. I'm quite an artist myself, you know. Oh, nothing. P pardon? I don't really do anything anymore. I guess I read sometimes. Oh, what do you like to read? Mmm, nothing. I see. Well, while we're still on our way, why don't you tell me a bit about your parents? My parents? Yes, if I'm treating them, I, sh I should know m about them, shouldn't I? Um, well, do you know what's afflicted them? Hmm? Your parents have been told they're very sick. So sick that they can't leave the house. But you, you seem fine. I was just wondering what I should know about them before I meet them. Um, I won't worry about it. Right, I understand. Apologies for as if asking made you uncomfortable. You know, this walk isn't actually so bad. It's nice to just stroll through nature every now and again. I guess. Still though, it surprised me that you take this walk so often by yourself. You're not scared by it of any monsters coming out to get you in the woods. Embry, are you alright? He's like genuinely concerned. I love him. Huh? No, sorry. It's just... Looks like I upset you. I'm okay. You don't know, my whole aesthetic, as you know, is like the circus clowns just for it. And so is my friend, Flynn, who made one of my biggest videos. Don't worry. Hmm? You seem like you're under a lot of stress. A child with parents so sick their child has to become their caretaker that must be so difficult please do not worry i'll do all i can to return you to a normal life shut up eh? i told you you can't help me you should just go well can't i at least try at least he's trying here yeah, let's save here i feel like we're reaching the end you really still want to see them I do. Here we are. Your house seems nice and cozy. Yeah, sure.
This room, this, this leads to the dining room. Mom always hated it because it's so far from the kitchen. She's going to switch the furniture around, but yeah. Nothing I need from the drawer. Embry, is this your work? Yeah, why? It's beautiful. Dang. Old bookshelf makes a full brain. Yeah, there's a lot of books here. And quite a variety to add. How delightful. This painting, yeah? It's kind of spooky. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, oh my, is that a TV I see? Yeah. I'm impressed. These are quite rare around these parts. Yeah. I remember feeling lucky to have one. Very lucky indeed. Does it work? I mean, yeah. The tapes just need to be rewound again. Fascinating. Let's not check the basement yet. You must have drawn this picture on the fridge, yes? Yeah, I did, but it was forever ago. Let's see here. So this is you in the middle, and your parents are on both sides? Yeah. That's sweet. What a wonderful drawing. Your oven is in good condition, I guess. I don't really touch it. Box. How cute. Yeah, they had this since before I was born. Oh my. You've got a big brother. You've got a big brother. Bre <laughs> a big brother bread box then. A lot of dirty dishes here. Do you need help with this? No, it's fine. I don't really use it, the dishes anymore, so. Keep track of the dates. Yeah. Don't most people? Well, yes, but you do it all by yourself? How do you know? These dates are mocked off in crayon. Is she using Crayola or Crazy Art? That's the question. This room. Bathroom. Do you have to go? Oh, no, but thank you for asking. I show my room. <sighs> You keep all your toys neat. Yeah, there's Brandon stepping on them all the time. Well, I suppose I can't argue with that. Oh my, a train set. Have you, have you seen a train in real life before? No, have you? Many times. I use them to get around quite often. I see. Are they cool? Yes, they are very cool. He's so... I love him. What's this? A friend hanging out with his little buddy. That's just autism. A lot of clothes. There's not a lot of clothes in here. Yeah, it's just easier to stay in this. Oh, but don't your clothes get dirty? And what about when you need to shower? I just wash my clothes during the shower. I I see. This guy's about to call child protective. What's this room? Mom and dad's room. But uh, they're not in here. Oh, where are they? All right, let's save. Oh, he's in the same thing. I love this. I love him. Oh wait, we didn't check this. What a lovely plant. It isn't real. That doesn't make it any less nice. This is such a lovely painting. My dad painted it. Quite a talented sir, I must say. I have some friends who do really good art. Save again. Just right out here. Oh my. Quite the heavily locked door. May I inquire as to what's inside? I mean, I'd rather you didn't. Embry. Are you... Are they in there? We opened the door. What? No! Hey, 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 it's alright. Can you tell me why they're locked up like this? I don't know what's down there. But whatever it is, it's really bad. And we can't open the door. Embry, you... See, I told you that I, you couldn't help me. I'd still like to try. You're not going to leave until I open the door, right? Okay, well, open the door. I just... Uh, something the matter. My key is gone. That's, I always keep it on me. Did I drop it in the market or something? Did you bring it to the market? I, maybe... I don't know, I don't remember. Why don't we look around for it, then? We can check the market after we're sure it isn't here. And I'm sure... I'm sure one of the stall owners wouldn't would have said something if they saw you drop it anyways. That's a good point. Let's look around then, I guess. Maybe she left it by her bed? I'm sure I keep my house keys. You make your bed every morning. That's a good habit to practice, I guess. I'm just going to save often because I really feel like we're near the end. 
Oh, did you find it? Yeah, I did, but this doesn't make any sense. I never put the key here before. I don't remember. Well, I suppose it's good you found it. Either way. Yeah, I guess so. They got out. 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 They are roaming the house. We're dead. There's a plot twist. This is the house. This is the sequel to House for Alyssa. We're dead. Alright, opening the door now. Seems like quite a long way down. Is there a light switch? Set the bottom of the stairs, but uh, I think the lights burned down. Anyways, I see. Well, let's go on then. What? I said we could open the door. I didn't say you could go down. Eh? What do you mean? Of course we have to go down. Daphne! Go lay down! That's the whole point, isn't it? No. You can't. Embry, let's go. No. Please, let go. That's some pretty cool art. <laughs> for bed already. Don't worry about it. It's time to go to bed. I deal with that today. At least they're fed. It's time to go to bed. That was louder than the other times. I need to go check. Go back again until I head downstairs because I'm irrational. Oh, it's so dirty in here. First off, that painting move. Second, we're screwed. The basement door is open. I can't open it. I definitely locked it before I went to bed. So, how is it that? Oh, no, I didn't. I have no choice. I have to go down there. Unless he's giving me a choice and I'm going click, I'm going down there. Because if I don't... Okay, okay, it's okay. They're running downstairs, apparently. No, let's go back up. Let's go back up. Nope, nope, nope. Mm-mm. I can't go back yet. Well, we are committed. Oh my god, I hate basement areas in video games. I can't even sprint. I hate dark areas. If you, this this heavily reminds me of uh time is all in here. Oh my god! Just like time is solid here, or time here is solid, or whatever the heck it was called. It was ah! One of my worst viewed videos, which really upsets me. Ah! Because it's actually a really good game. Is the floor getting redder? I might, I might be tripping. That might just be my screen. And handprint. Yay! Basement so goddamn elaborate. Nope, nope, back away, back away, back away, back away, back away. Like that one scene from Grouty. <laughs> nope. And how you realize you and I are one and the same. No, that's not. That cannot be right. It can't. Why can't it be? Oh, that's right. It's because you think we're a monster. And that's not you, right? You're not a monster. That's what that's what you think, right? Monster, monster, monster. We're monsters, but you're not. Is that right? Why does that make sense? You're not a monster? You pushed the doctor down the stairs. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. 
He fell. I kept tugging on his sleeve and he, he, he stumbled. He tripped. I didn't push anyone. But you opened the door for him, didn't you? You opened the door and then begged him not to look inside. Why did you do that? He wouldn't have tripped if you just let him go. He wouldn't have tripped if you kept the door shut. He wouldn't have even seen the door if you didn't let him in. And maybe he would have been here to begin with if you weren't such a monster. And why did you bring him here? Oh, Embry, what are you going to do with yourself? What have you been doing all this time? Feeding, feeding, feeding him for what? You think you feed me? Because I, because you like it? It makes you feel better when you do, right? You feed me, and then you feel better. You feel safe. Nothing is coming to hurt you. And you know, it's fun. the funny thing about that is, day after day, despite how much you've been feeding me, Editor, zoom on the face. That's not the same thing. I'm still hungry. Oh! I got goosebumps. Long enough. <laughs> Mama, papa. Mama, papa. I summon these spirits by spam. Alright, that's the game. Uh, I looked online. There's at least one more ending, so we're gonna... Oh, I love that. Thanks for playing. So we're gonna go back, get that other ending, and... Uh... Yeah, leave it there. Back to bed. I can't. 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 I'll just... I'll be okay. One thing I want to say is this. Look at the drawing. So that's still the same. Alright, just checking for little Easter eggs. firmly shut that's that's fine right a little buddy hanging out with his friend quick like me little buddy maybe I should check out check that there's nothing under my bed right I don't brighten the image because there was nothing nothing under the bed Bedtime then. Embry. <gasps> Dr. Dillard's alive! Through the miracle of looking like Sam's. Dr. D. What are you doing here? I thought... You. Embry. What's wrong? Doc, you. I. You what? You really should tell me what's wrong, you know? How am I supposed to help you otherwise? I forgot what voice I gave him. It was like a kind of British-y kind of... What's that? Ah, oh, I see. It must be because I tried and I died. Is that Red Skull? And what happened? I... Well, there's no helping it now, is there? I tried and I died. I tried and I died. And that's because of you. That could be I. I'm sorry, I tried to stop you. You just kept going. Well, I had to, didn't I? Nothing ever would have changed if I didn't. So I kept going. And that's where that got me. I just wanted to help you. And you didn't want that. Why is that? 
because you feel helpless, or it's because you know help is only going to make it worse. That's it, isn't it? Help will make it worse, because once you get help, there's no longer an excuse as to why this is happening to you. Ah, I'm sorry, my mask was slipping. So now I feel compelled to ask, was it worth it? Was my life worth that excuse? Did the mask go down or was I tripping? I would sure hope so. For the sake of you at least, it's too late for me now. Who else will you sacrifice to save yourself? They might not be as forgiving as me, but maybe that's what you're looking for, after all. And you can say you deserve this. <laughs> that one was worse! What if I leave? What if I just like dip? Like I'm gone. I'm gone. You ain't see me again. You know what you have to do? Ah, boo! Let me run away from my problems. Got like five minutes left. Well, ladies and gentlemen, lads, that was that's not me, that's my basement. I have some last minute thoughts. One of them being that she is the one who killed her parents. And she's like, because he's a child, this monster is like how she's coping with it. But I'm not fully sure. I'm not a theorist. I'm just an idiot who's playing games at five in the morning but that's gonna be about it if you did enjoy please leave a like please leave a like if you want to see more from me subscribe and comment if you have any other game recommendations i'll be leaving this game's link in the description below it's free it's on itch.io i don't think you can play it on browser but i don't really know and that's pretty much it i'll see you in the next video have a wonderful evening ladies and gentlemen lads